Hi, my name's Will, and I'm here to talk to you about renewable resource fuels. This is an 87 octane, just a pump gas that most people put in their equipment or in their vehicles. And when you put this product in here, you notice that it's perfectly clear. Everything looks fine. Well, let's say we get condensation in there. This is just water. One, two, three, four. When we actually add gasoline, you can see it at the very bottom, and it's just a small amount, not a very large deal for a regular fuel. And with a renewable resource fuel, such as an ethanol blend, you get condensation in there. As soon as you get that piece of equipment moving, you get what they call phase separation. This top layer is actually heptane. That's a second ingredient in starting fluid. Not very good for rod bearings or wrist pins. This next layer is between an 83 and an 84 octane fuel. It takes 10% ethanol, as you can see, is falling out at the bottom. This causes dilemmas, carburetors clogging, and it actually can blow the spark plug clean out of the top of the cylinder head. When we use a stabilizer and we look at our fuel, not a whole lot changes. Well, if we give this product a fair shake, it's just a commodity brand product, you notice that there's still quite a bit of condensation and ethanol mixed together that are falling out and accumulating. Again, gum and varnish is, becomes a dilemma because this fuel is not stabilized. This product is phaser. This will actually pick up and fracture the condensation and put everything back into suspension to make fuel compliant. And as you can see, this fuel is a little bit cloudy at this point because it's settled. When you add this product, and this will do this by itself without any agitation whatsoever, but just because we're gonna make this video short, this will give you an understanding. Now you have clean, friable fuel to use in your equipment, keeps fuel stable for a minimum of 12 months, and keeps everything clean and healthy.